Hi everyone, today in this video we're going to be starting to talk about disease, I'm looking at what we mean by the concept of disease and also the different types of diseases. So let's start with an overview. So in this video we're going to talk about defining the term disease and what we mean when we use it and then looking at the two main types of diseases that we are concerned about which we call infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. We'll go through some examples and some definitions. So let's start off by thinking about what we mean when we use the word disease. What we mean is we're considering it in terms of a malfunction. Thinking about it in terms of something that causes our body to not function properly or effectively. Now that might be to the point at which it might be lethal, so that is it has the possibility to, for us to actually die, or it can just decrease the quality of our life in some way. Um, now these diseases can be caused by uh, pathogens, um, so, so microbes that invade our bodies that can have, a, have the potential to cause disease. Um, they may be genetic, so things that we inherit from our parents um, or from, from our ancestors, grandparents or beyond. Um, and also environmental factors, things that we're exposed to in our everyday life that uh, can cause damage to our bodies or can, can cause changes to our cells that then can, can bring on disease. So we're going to start to think about the first type of disease, which is called infectious diseases. So infectious diseases are those that are caused by pathogens. So just remember that, the, that pathogens are those microbes that invade our body um, from the outside um, and that have the capacity to cause harm or that, that have the, the ability to cause disease. Okay, so those pathogens come in a range of different types, but infectious diseases, some examples would be influenza, um, the, you know, the flu, um, Ebola, uh, HIV, AIDS, um, measles, uh, rubella. Um, you've also got things like sexually transmitted infections, um, which are, they, they are also caused by pathogens, but we particularly characterise them by how you would actually catch, um, how you would be infected or how you can infect somebody else uh, through sexual contact. Um, and so all of them involve a, one type of pathogen entering your body. So some of the different types of pathogens, just to remind you, um, we were looked at in the previous video, we were talking about microbes. Um, we have bacteria, we've got fungi, um, protozoa is one that we didn't really talk about in the last video, but, um, but some of the microbes or some of the pathogens that we consider would be protozoa, and also viruses. Just a reminder that viruses are, we consider to be essentially non-living, but the way that they actually can help to cause disease is that they invade your healthy cells and cause your cell to become a little factory that helps to produce more copies of the virus. So regardless of exactly which type of pathogen it is, all of these have the capacity to cause significant infectious diseases. Um, so it doesn't actually matter so much which type, it's not like saying well bacteria are always worse than protozoa but viruses are always the worst, it very much depends. Okay, now we're going to start to talk about some examples of non-infectious diseases. So things where we, uh, so something that causes our body to malfunction or to be not functionally effectively, but it's not something that we catch or not something that, that happens because of something that invades our body, a pathogen or a microbe. So some of the, um, so we, essentially we, we might call them as lifestyle diseases. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you choose to, um, to, to take them on because they're related to these outside factors. So they can be genetic, in which case you have no choice as to whether, um, you know, whether you have those genes or not, or they could be environmental exposure, but then also things like, um, you know, the, the diet that you have, what kind of weight that you have, are you, you know, are you overweight or obese, do you smoke, do you drink, uh, drink alcohol, all of those are things that can help to contribute to non-infectious diseases. So some of the examples we're talking about, uh, we've got asthma, you can see an image of someone with their puffer there, and uh, we've got arthritis, um, so that might be osteoarthritis in this case where you get a swelling of the, the joints between the bones, or it could be rheumatoid arthritis, which is what we call an autoimmune disease, or so something where your immune system um, actually attacks other parts of your body and causes damage to the joints. Uh, so for example, my mum has a rheumatoid arthritis, um, you know, so it's not anything that, like osteoarthritis like you'd see here comes from overuse of the joints over a very long time, so which is why it tends to afflict um, older people, um, but so, but whereas rheumatoid arthritis is, um, is, is independent of that. Uh, we also have cancer, here kind of showing you an example of, um, of cancer cells developing in amongst normal cells. Cancer involves 
Um, so each of the cells in your body tends to have a natural lifespan. Um, so for some cells that might be a, you know, a week or two, others might be a couple of years or months, um, others might be for your whole life. But essentially all cells have an inbuilt kill switch. Um, so it's kind of a chemical trigger or it's kind of a, a process within the cell that actually allows it to be destroyed and recycled into new cells so that your body is constantly regenerating. But in cancerous cells, um, that, that kill switch gets turned off. So something happens, a malfunction in the code inside your cell, the DNA, um, a mutation we call it, um, causes that kill switch to be turned off. So the cancer cell continues to develop and it continues to multiply and reproduce like normal cells do, growing more cancerous cells. And what happens is that they grow you know, more and more numerous and so they develop into tissues that then develop a blood supply and so you get things like tumours that develop um, depending on wherever those cancer cells find themselves. Um, Different treatments for cancer involve trying to selectively take out the cancer cells, kill the cancer cells, while trying to keep the normal cells intact. And lastly, in this last image down the bottom here, that you have, um, you know, an image for someone with diabetes to testing blood glucose levels. Um, you've probably heard, talked about uh, diabetes before in thinking about the endocrine system as a, a malfunction in the formation of the hormone insulin. Um, either in type 1 where no insulin is produced, so that, that production is shut down, or in type 2 diabetes where the production of insulin is impaired um, or that insulin um, you become insulin resistant, um, typically because of being uh, very overweight. And so all of these are just a, a selection of examples of diseases that affect your quality of life and can kill you um, under the you know, particular circumstances, but it's not from a pathogen invading. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.